what's going on guys in this video I'm gonna talk about the, how the transplanted hair actually feels like when you style it how can you style it as your normal hair or are there some differences make sure you watch this video Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Matt and you are watching the Hair Transplant channel where it's all about stopping our hair loss, getting our hair back and hair transplant. Make sure you subscribe right now and won't miss my next video. And even though this video is not gonna be entirely about hair transplant, it's gonna show you how transplanted hair can be styled. Are there some differences between styling your normal hair and styling your transplanted hair? How does the transplanted hair behave? Does it look natural if you style it up or do you need to pay attention to some stuff that you didn't have to pay attention to before? You will notice by styling your transplanted hair it will just feel much thicker in comparison to the rest of your hair. The reason for that is that the hair from the back side of your scalp, from so-called donor zone, the hair has just much better blood flow which will enable an inflow of more oxygen, more micronutrients and vitamins to the hair follicle which will make these hair follicles thicker long term. Normally after your hair transplant most of us will keep thinning, some of us faster, some of us slower, but you will feel that the rest of the hair that hasn't been transplanted is much thinner, so if you just style it, comb it, you will feel that you will need more products to put on onto your transplanted hair to make them hold, to make them stay a particular way. The second thing that I found out when it comes down to styling my transplanted hair was the transition between the transplanted and non-transplanted hair. This transition was really pain in the ass to style especially in the beginning when the hair was shorter overall and it seemed like the transplanted hair was just growing much more upright and the hair that was not transplanted was just growing normally, more like along the surface of the scalp, not so much upright. The hair is stronger, it's, it's growing upwards, right? It's not really just falling floppy, but it's kind of having its own structure. It's quite a different structure than this rest of the hairs, because they are growing more like, like this. Alright guys, here you can see that the hair just looks much more natural when you let it grow after your hair transplant. And here you can see me putting on hair fibers. I really like using hair fibers and I advise it to people after hair transplant because this will help you even out the differences in colors between the transplanted and non-transplanted hair as well as it will help you even out the differences between density of your transplanted hair as of your non-transplanted hair as well as the differences in diameters of the follicle which was transplanted and the follicle which is non-transplanted. That was the step number one that I'm always doing, putting a slightly bit of a hair fibers on my mid scalp which is slightly receded and covering it up. But what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna add a couple more products in very small amounts just to increase the thickness of my hair. Hairstyle number one that I normally wear, this typical side swept pompadour kind of hairstyle with very short fade on my sides. And this is basically it. The number one that I really like. We will use a very soft paste the last step it's the hairspray. The spray will just make the hair fibers stick onto your hair shafts all right so they're gonna stay there make the hair shafts thicker and create the illusion of thicker hair and no bald spots. So that's what you want right? You want to look good, you want to look attractive and that's right. That's why you're watching this channel as well. So make sure to like and subscribe this video right now if you like it. Often it can happen that the products that you already put on your hair, the they build up layers around your hair, right? And if you put the hair fibers on your scalp, then most of the times they will not even allow the hair fibers to reach the scalp, okay? Hair fibers have to reach the scalp to properly cover the baldness and to create the illusion of, uh, of having hair, okay? Never put your hair fibers at the end. Always put your hair fibers first before you even decide to style your hair in any way. You can do hair fibers, styling, and hair fibers. And then 
the hairspray at the end. Okay, I don't recommend you to do it every single day because this is just too much stress on your hair. Okay. All right, guys, make sure you do the best with what you have because somebody has better hair, somebody has worse hair, but we can do always something to make our hair better. So this video was about how the transplanted hair differs from the native hair when it comes to styling it. So uh, make sure you hit that like button if you liked it and uh, we'll see each other in the next video. Thank you, guys.